I'm going to list things and let me know if they intrigue you. Engine building. Action selection. Big cubes. Cute art. Fun names. All that intrigue you? It intrigued me, and that is why I picked up Raising Robots from Navu Games. And lo and behold, there's a solo mode! So let's go check that out and see how well I can raise some robots. All right, here we are, set up for a solo play of Raising Robots. I have already done all of my setup. What's cool in this game is it shows you your setup right here before you get your inventor. So we drew eight robot cards. We kept five, and then of those five, we built two for free. If I put them in these spots, I'd have to pay the resources. I'll go over that as I do the quick rules explanation. We then drew two class cards, kept one. This is end of game scoring. Two inventors, keep one. So we built the two robots. We could do a free upgrade. I chose to upgrade this, which is take a upgrade token off the board, and then you could eventually assign it to a robot, your class, or over here to your inventor, but they have requirements that have to get met first. I chose the green one from the design and upgraded strobe right away. We start with three energy and three duct tape. My inventor is Lizzie. What she lets me do is I spend one less while for upgrading, which I'll get into in a moment. And at the end of each round, I get points for, or once I upgrade her, at the end of the round, I get points for how many um, um, upgrades I've unlocked. All right, how this game is going to play is I am going to flip over two of these energy cards. They're going to have numbers on them. I am then going to take and choose out of these five um, phases which two I want to do and assign them to an energy card. I will then, in a solo version, play. I will flip over these two cards, and these energy cubes will go out here. I will then, starting right here and going around the board and then across this board as well, I will do any action phase, however you want to call it, that either I have chosen or has an energy cube on it at a power level. The power level is energy cubes here plus any energy that I may have by assigning it there, any unlocked tokens up here that may give it energy, and then I can spend batteries to increase this energy by one per battery that I spend. Once I have set my power ability, I will then do actions. And the upgrade is I can spend energy and possibly wild tokens to grab these upgrade tokens off of here, which will make stuff better. Again, because I'm Lizzie, these are all one lower. If I wasn't, here's the options instead. Upgrade and assemble are the only two areas you can split your energy. So, for example, if I had eight energy, I could just do the seven and the one, or I could do the three and the five, or I could do the three two times and the one once if I wanted to. All right. Assemble is you assemble the robots from your hand. Here are examples for robots, and I have them out there. So you are going to look at how much energy you have, and then you look at the robot you want to build. Build Again, you can split the energy between multiple robots getting built. So you're going to look at whatever energy you're spending to build that robot, and then they have um, costs. So for Edward here, if we go three energy, it would cost me two cogs and two sensors. I would spend those resources and put them out in the row that is designated up in his corner. At the end of the game, he's going to give me five points. I will also be able to trigger him whenever this row triggers. As you get further along, you would have to discard additional resources. So if I were to put him here, it'd be that cost, and then any one wild resource. Wild resources are denoted up here. It's a card, a sensor, a gear, a program, or a microchip. I will probably not keep calling them those names, as I'll probably just start calling stuff random things throughout the game. As while I'm up here, I'll let you know a duct tape can be play, paid for in place of a sensor, a gear, a program, or a microchip. All right, so that is assembled. Design is 
you'll see what your power is and you'll go down this row. These are all additions. So if you guys have the one power, which I already start with one power whenever I do that action, in addition to whatever I get over here. But again, I'd have to choose it or that have to have power cubes up here. I can't just do it because I have this unlocked. You'll see how much power you'll go down the row. So I can get a sensor. I can discard X number of cards to draw X plus one. I can discard zero and just draw a card. And then the final one at all of these is a point. But this is if we upgrade. So if I upgrade, if I get rid of this one, I would get a sensor and an energy. And as you upgrade them, other things happen. So after you do this, you then run your row of robots left to right. So I'd go down here, and then I'd trigger Edward. Right now, I only have the top ability of Edward available because I don't have an upgrade token on him. You will then go down if you can do Fabricate. Same thing. Set your starting energy, top to bottom, and then left to right. Recycle works the same. Top to bottom, left to right. Then, if there's any round end abilities... You would perform those. Again, Lizzie does have one, but it's only after I upgrade her. In order to upgrade her, I need one of the orange tokens, and I need to have four robots built. I already have two, so I got to get two more. After I do all that, we go... I'm, all right, saw how cool that is? All right, I'm going to put them up there. We go into the next round. I flip over two new energy cards, rinse and repeat. After that second round, four of these are going to be showing. I'm going to reshuffle all of them lay them back out, and then we go through those again. After the fourth round, I am going to draw three more class cards, keep one of them, and I will reshuffle my energy cards. They'll all be used. There are only eight of them here. And then we do that four more turns. At the end of round eight, the end of the game is triggered, and then we get points. And we'll get to there when the end of game happens, but there are quite a few points that you can get. Um, class cards. So what these are is they have certain things that need to be accomplished. So in this instance, I am looking to unlock as many of these green upgrade tokens as I can. I've already done one of them. This little arrow up here denotes that I need to get extra credit to be able to get that A level of 14. You get extra credit by putting a upgrade token by that hat, which in this case is the blue clockety thing. Again, not technical terms from the games. They have the technical terms. I have limited memory space, and I don't wish to remember them. But if you want to remember them to get into the theme of the game, go ahead. I get into the theme of the game just fine, because all the pictures are cool, and they have cool names. Like this woodworking one is Bevel. You have Lollipop. Watson. So I really do enjoy the names on the robots. I think I have rambled on long enough. I am going to go ahead and choose my first phase cards. Let me flip over the energy first. So we have there and there. So this will give me a good, uh, good chance to show you this. So we grab one of these big old energy cubes. We put it on here. What's going to happen is when I put an energy card or phase card here, this will go on to wherever it is. That matters more in a multiplayer game, not as much in a solo, but I will still do it. And then I will flip over those and assign them. I'm not going to have you sit here, though, and wait as I choose these. So I will be coming back with my phases shown, and I'll keep doing that as we go through the game. All right, so I've decided to, decided to do design and upgrade. So this goes to upgrade. We reveal this first one, and they are going to assemble. And then we have this one, which is going to... Upgrade. So that works out well for me because now I will have three in addition to my four is seven um, energy that I can do the upgrade with. I will still do assemble even though I didn't choose it because there's an energy cube here. I'm going to do it at a one as of right now. And that didn't happen. I was really hoping for them to put an energy cube here because this doesn't put out an energy cube. Any energy cubes in this phase would actually be worth two energy instead of just the one. All right, so let's run this bad boy. So we go up to an upgrade first. So I initially have a four, five, six, seven. So I can not add any energy and just do an upgrade for free. Although I can already do one for one less right here because normally seven would have cost one. So, so I have seven, so I could 
kick in a couple energy, do like a nine, and see about spending all three duct tape to do that. I think I will. Four, five, six, seven. We only need to spend one energy to make it eight. So we're going to do a three and a five, which is three wild. I can spend one, two, three, spend all my duct tape. Oh, wait, no, duct tape can't be spent as a wild. All right, so I'm not going to do all that. Let's take that back. That's right. I keep forgetting that it can be used as a wild there. Never mind. I have consulted the rule book, and I was right the first time. You can spend it as wild. So we're going to do eight. Spend it as three. One, two, three. That lets me do two upgrades. Seeing as I know I'm going to do assemble, though I don't have anything, so I don't care about unlocking that yet. I am going to be doing design right now at a one, two. If I kick it up to a four... Um, you know, we're going to do this as one of my upgrades, which will work because I need to do it for my extra credit. And then we're actually going to do another green. No, nope, we're going to do the artist one and th drop that on Edward right away. So this is when you do them on upgrade, it's inspiration. So you can either draw three class cards and keep one, get two wilds or four energy. I think right now I'm going to kick up my energy so I can start doing actions at a higher rate instead of doing the two wild, I think, because two wild is not going to help me as well as I had. One, two. So that would be if I uh, did that one by not, so that's going to only be a once. So yeah, it's, I'm not going to be able to get this. So up four. Done. And I'll just leave this one off to the side in case I want to do something else with it before I put it on there. So that is upgrade. We come up to assemble. Only one energy. I'm not going to spend any because I don't have any resources to assemble a robot. So I don't do any of that. Design. I chose that. So we have one. We have two. I need at least three to trigger Edward. And four up here. So I have what I say. One, two, three, four. So I get one sensor and an energy, and then I can discard cards and draw one plus the one I've discarded. Let's go ahead and discard Sandy. So that lets me draw two cards, like so. So I've done that. And now I go over to Edward, which I can discard a card to get three energy or discard a card to get two points and two energy. So I'm going to discard figure eight, and I think I'm going to, let's go ahead and grab the two energy and two points. So that's there, fabricate. I don't do fabricate, I don't do recycle, back to there. All right, that is the end of the round. We now clear off all of these cubes, and take these back into our hand. And then we can get started on the next one. Move this over to two. So we got a two and a three with two energy cubes on it. All right, let me see what I'm going to do now. All right, so I've chosen to fabricate, fabricate and upgrade again because that's going to give me five on upgrade. They are going to go on fabricate. That's going to help me out. And design. That could help me out as well. All right, so we start off with upgrading. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's me do one for free. All right, so I think we're going to grab this blue one because I want to get this jack out and he needs sensors if I go with the low one. And that's going to give me those sensors or programs or whatever it is. It's going to give me the weird bow tie. All right, did that one. Go to assemble. No one's there. We go to design. I did not pick it, but we have two cubes, so we're doing a power level of two. Let's kick it up to three and four. So go down, get one of the purples and an energy. Come down. I can discard cards. No, but I get to draw one. And we have Jonah. I didn't go to seven. We come over here. I can discard a card to get stuff. Let's go ahead and discard. 
Uh, let's go ahead and discard as much as I like them. Scoop. Uh, no, because I got that, that. Yeah, we're going to still discard Scoop. Now let's go ahead and get three battery this time. Come down to Fabricate. That's one I did. That's two. And this makes it a four. And we're going to stay at that. So go down. Let's go ahead and grab a gear because I don't have one. Of, nope, a microchip. And then down to here. And let's go ahead and grab two red bow ties. And then strobe. I can either get a purple or a duct tape and an energy. Let's do the duct tape and energy because the duct tape can be used as anything. Recycle. No one's on it. So back to there. Round end. So we'll grab these back. We'll get these taken off. Let's grab, let's show you that. That was recycle. Let me get these shuffled up here. And lay out one, two, three, four, five. And then the one and the two again. Alrighty, round three, we got a two, and we got the three with the energy cube. Let me figure out what's next. All right, so I think it is time to start assembling, and we are going to upgrade again, especially because I get that discount, so I really want to push the upgrading. Their first card is design. Next one up is assemble. Ooh, that works really good because I have two, and each of these is worth two, so that's going to be six. So that worked out extremely well for me, and I'm happy about that. All right, so we have the upgrade. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do it for free, and we are going to grab the piggy bank, which is going to give me two resources, four energy, or a class card. We're going to push this up by one. And this up by one, because it kind of changed my plans with them getting those assemble cubes out in a good way. So we go to assemble. We are at two, four, six. We're going to go seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to be playing these two. So we're going to spend our three purple to put out Jack. We need to discard one resource of our choice. Done. Jonah, we're going to do the three. So we spend two here. We spend two there, and he comes down there. And then I want to put, let's see, we did the fabricate. We're going to put the piggy bank on him, just so I remember. We are going to want to get one of these orange soon, because now we can unlock her, because we have four robots out. So that was assemble. Do we do design? Well, we have a one energy in there, and that makes it a two um, let's go ahead and might as well kick it up to a three and a four because I'm about to get energy back. So a purple and an energy down to here. Uh, let's go ahead and just discard chill just to get two cards. One, two, over to Edward so I can discard one of these. Um, get a lot of orange and that's not necessarily good for me but let's go ahead and get you know let's keep Brenner just because I like the name and we're going to get the three energy seeing as I blew through all my energy fabricate we do not do recycle we do not do back to here I have an unlocker ability so no end of round stuff yet we are into four these get cleared off our final cards is a four with two energy and a three. I bet you you can guess what I'm going to put there. If you can't, then you haven't been watching. All right, you probably guessed it. Upgrade. We're doing a fabricate. They are recycling and upgrading. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff I can upgrade now. All right, let's see how I want to do this. I had an initial plan, but see, that, that's the cool thing is when it reveals, it could change your plans. So right now I have a four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I do have one resource. So if I can get that up to a 12, which would be all my energy, and I don't know if I want to use it anywhere else yet. Three for the fabricate, which will let me get some before I get to recycle. So you know what? I think we are. Let's go ahead. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Spend our one resource. Let's me upgrade two things. Um, I want to grab this one. Wait, for sure I want to grab the one for Lizzie. So I know I'm going to do recycle, so let's grab that one. So that's one, and I do want to do the greens for up here. And let's go ahead and grab that one. So that is, let's grab that four energy back. So there is that 12. No one's assembling. No one is designing. I chose fabricate with a three and spend one to do a four. Coming down, let's go ahead and grab, no one cares what they want, so let's grab a gear for now. Down here, we'll grab a bow tie and a microchip just to have an assortment of stuff. Come over here to strobe. Let's go ahead and grab the duct tape and an energy. Over to Jack, which is, because I've upgraded him, a card and an energy. Down to recycle. So we have one, we have two. So that's definitely enough to do Jonah. If I go to four, I can spend an energy for a duct tape. I think I'm good with the two for now. So that is two energy. Come over to Jonah. I can spend an energy for two cards. I do need cards. There's that. Come over here. So we do have an end of turn thing now. So how many do we have unlocked? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we have six unlocked, that is going to be one, two, three points. All right, so let me get set up for the next round. All right, so we are back. I've shuffled my cards. I've gotten another class card. This is wanting me to have cards in my hand at the end of the game. It does come with these arrows. You can use these for a variety of things. For the class cards, like this green one, I can put it here to keep track of where I'm at. So I've unlocked two, so I can put myself right there. The other thing you can do is, like how I said you can um, split the energy up here, is you can set yourself at like your main energy, like I set my, you know, I have seven. And then when you spend four, so you can keep track as you're doing the different things. Alrighty, um, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm wanting to do, depending on the energy cards that come up. We got a two and a four with two energy cubes, and you may be shocked what I do there. All right, so we're doing design and fabricate. As much as I'd like to upgrade, I need to get some resources because there's a couple of cards I really want to get out. And seeing as all my inspiration's gone to be able to get me doing that way, I will probably do an upgrade next time. But as for right now, I want to go and grab all of these resources. They are going to give me one and assemble. I mean, if this is an upgrade, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, it's not. It's fabricate. So I'll be doing fabricated an eight. That's just ridiculous. But okay. So we skip upgrade. We go to assemble. Is there actually anything I can assemble? So I think we are going to assemble control Z. You might have noticed there's one on recycle. I think I forgot to take that off last time. Because I looked, we have assemble, a two from fabricate, and then mine. All right, so we're going to spend one battery. So we have a two power. Then three, four, five, six power. So it's two microchips. So the one and the duct tape to put out control Z here. I need to discard another resource. And we're going to discard the bow tie. So now I have control Z. He needs a clock. Let's go ahead and drop the clock on him. Done. Oh, you know, I'm going to save that. Because I don't know if I, well, I know for sure I want to put one there because I need the extra credit. I don't know about that one yet. So that's assemble, over to design. I chose that at a two. 
Unfortunately, I spent my energy there because I wasn't thinking. But I will spend the last one to go to three at least so I can activate Edward. So this gives me my energy back and gives me a purple. Coming over to Edward. Is there one I want to get rid of? I don't think I'm going to use Marco. So let's go ahead and get rid of Marco to get three energy. There. Fabricate. Uh, we have a four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't need to spend any because it would be wasted. Let's go ahead and go down here. And I need those purples, but purple's not available. Let's go ahead and grab a microchip. Let's go down here and grab another gear and grab a sensor. Come over here, get the duct tape and an energy. Come over here, the energy and a card. Down to recycle. We aren't doing recycle. Over to me. Again, I have unlocked only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is another three points. All right, that is that round. Let's move these so I don't forget this time. Flip over, flip over. Ooh, we got a big turn coming up. We got a five and a five. All right, so we are going back to upgrading and we're going to assemble because I should have enough to do one of these. Hopefully they grab stuff I want to do and upgrade eh, and recycle. That might help. I like recycling. All right, so upgrade is four, five, six. Spend an energy to do it for free. Why not? So I get to upgrade something. I could upgrade recycle, see as I know I'm going to do that. Assembly gives me more spending power. And right now I'm at three, four, five. The clock would be helpful. I could unlock him. Or I can grab the other green, seeing as I know I need those. You know, let's go ahead and grab the other green. And we're just going to drop that on Jonah now. Done. All right. That was upgrade. Assemble. We are at three, four, five. That's all I need for Stockton. Do I spend the purple and the duct tape as the purple? And he goes here. I need to get rid of another one. Let's go ahead and get rid of that mic chip because I'm not writing design. No, we're going to get rid of the bow tie. I want to save that microchip for next time because, bam, we're going to unlock that right away. Just like that. So I did upgrade assemble design. Nope. Fabricate. Nope. We're down to recycle. Right now it's at a three. We are definitely going to kick it up to a four. We're going to kick it up to a five. So this is, again, where you can always do that in case you can't remember exactly what you put yourself at. Because I do want to control Z. Oh, I don't have duct tape. But I will get duct tape here if I spend an energy to get three points. Yes. See, that's one of the cool things about this game with the engine building. So we are going to do ourselves at a five. Come down here and get two energy. Come down here. Spend an energy for a duct tape. And I also get a resource of my choice. Let's go ahead and grab... Looking at this hand, let's grab a purple. Why not? Come over here. I can spend an energy for any two. We are going to do that. Let's grab another purple and a red bow tie. Come over to here with my five. I can spend the duct tape for three points. Nine, 10, 11. And you grab this time 10 star to put on the one like so back to me i have now did i unlock another one one two three four five six seven eight so i'm now at max so that gives me four more points to 15. you'll shuffle those up oh, i haven't been moving this there we go so we did the two the two the two so we are going into round seven the penultimate round wow that happened quick Let's deal out my new cards. A less fantastic one this time. And get everything figured out here in a minute. All right, so we are assembling and designing. I didn't have any energy cubes on mine. Let's see where they are going. 
They're going to fabricate and recycle. So no upgrading this time. We go to assembly. I am assembling Brinner. All right, I need at least two. I am at one. We're at two. It costs me two purple. It costs me two gears. Goes here. It costs me two resources. We are going to spend those two right there. Done. I do, yeah, that's one thing I've noticed you go through resources a lot. I kind of wish you could build them up quicker, like maybe the power somehow, like half of your power gets the resources or something. But I'm sure they did tons of play testing. I'm just being finicky and wanting to do a lot more than I should. So that was my assemble. Brenner. Design. I chose design with a three. Um, let's go ahead and push it up to a four. So we're at a four, come down here, get a purple, and get our energy back. I'm going to discard Merlin to draw two cards. And I just realized I really wanted to keep that microchip for Stockton. It's like the whole reason I did this. But alas, that is what you run into. Come over to Edward. And, Edward, are we going to discard one of these two cards? Probably, because I don't think I'm going to assemble another robot. I have other plans I want to do. Discard that. Let's get our energy back up. Can't do Stockton, because I do not have a microchip. We come down to Fabricate, which is currently at a 1. So I can easily do a 1 on Brinner. I can do a 1 here. He needs at least a 3. And a 4 to get up there. So one, two, three, four. Left now is at five. So I'm at what I say one, two, three, four. Come down here, get that microchip. So I make sure I have it. Let's go ahead and get a gear and another microchip. Come over here, duct tape, battery. Come over here, card, battery. I have to do the top one, so that gives me the bow tie. Down to recycle. We are doing that with a power of two. So that's a two. I could spend that to get up to a three, but I wanted to get to a four. Yeah, spend three to bring us to a four. Wait, one, two, three. I only need to spend one. All right, here. Two energy. Here, spend an energy for a duct tape and a, one of my choosing. Put that microchip up so I don't mess that up again. Over here, I can spend a battery for two of anything. And I am going to choose. Can I actually maybe assemble one of these? Let's go two gears. I just realized that I kicked that up to a five. I'm pretty sure I only did a four. I should have done a five. I don't know. I'll watch this back and let you know if I messed up. I might need three more points for a duct tape, but I'll just say I didn't spend it. End of round, four points. There we go. All right. Going into the final round, I got a three with an energy cube and a two with a doubler on it. All right, so we're going to design and upgrade design so I can try and get some cards, or at least try and get some points for my database management and upgrading to get the last green because I forgot to push this up, the last green, so I can maximize those points. So this goes on design. They're giving me one more on upgrade and two on design. So I'm definitely going to be good on design and upgrading. So going up here, we have two, four. Um, do I have, I think I have the stuff to spare. I don't need gears for anything. I'm not assembling. So we'll just spend the two gears. One, two. To upgrade, we're grabbing the green. Although is that the best bet? Uh, design is going to be three, six, 
So that'd be two points. This is going to be a lot more. Grabbing the green. And I have the extra credit, so that can go there. Assembling. Nope. Design. Three, four, five, six. We are at seven. So we will get a purple and an energy. We're going to discard our two cards to draw three, two, and three. We get a point. Edward, we're going to discard a card for two points. One, two. And then this is a five. So we're going to spend a microchip to get a gear and three cards. One, two, and three. So that was design. Fabricate, no. Recycle, no. Get hers, so that's four more points. One, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five cards. We're gonna throw extra credit in, which pushes me up a level, like that. All right, so that is end of game. So let's total our points up and see where we rank. So we are red. So we count up our robots. 4, 9, 13, 19, 22, 28, 31. Our class cards. So that's 5, 14, 19. Where our point tracker is. We are at 26. Then battery power. All of our resources, including our cards, duct tape. Every three is one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So that is five points for that. So we have 40, 50, 76, 81. 81 is I am an amateur. All right, cool. That's fine. I'm an amateur. That's right in the middle. This one over here, it says solo challenge. There is a challenge where you play three games in a row. You do not shuffle any of the cards after each game. You instead remove all class cards and robot cards from each game, including play area, hand, discard pile. Remove the inventor cards you had to choose from. Then at the end of each game, record your score. So basically, you're playing with three different inventors, three different games. Add up all your scores to see where you are on the solo challenge. I am not doing that right now. So, but again, my final score is 81. Raising Robots. Um, big fan of this one. Um, I really like Wingspan, and this whole activating the row is very Wingspan-esque. And then Terraforming Mars, a card game, is pretty cool, which borrows from Race for the Galaxy. And this kind of influenced that, but in a whole different, in a bit of a different way, where you actually are choosing your power with the energy. So it puts a little twist on that. So it's kind of combining an element from a game I like and a game from I like and putting them together with a cool theme and the action selection and your opponents can help you with the energy cubes. And yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on here. And like I said, the cards are really cool. You have Hazmat, Jasmine with the T, Quicksort with the Legos. So a lot to like in this game. Anyways, if I could go ahead and get you to subscribe, like, comment, share, ring the bell, I would be appreciative of that. I would be appreciative if you could go ahead and check out our Patreon and subscribe at a level. That would be super cool of you. Also, podcast, we have one. Listen. Awesome. Now, I am going to clean all of this up because there's a lot in that box.